starting late here oh, shoot okay we're gonna do uh i got beat in san francisco i was blessed by the beats in the holy temple of city lights slammed by the word speakers in seattle a star bar sparkled in my eyes palooed in a tent of hissing spoken word i was saved in san diego by the poet's tree sangria lizzie Dazzled me with hot Spanish licks on my cool blue skin. She left my heart beating like a flamenco dancer's shoes. Oracle Mark waits at the intersection of Park and Washington, with the angst of Market Street still on his southern comfort lips, hovering over me, smelling of a bad woman in a deep blues dress. Are you a poet, man? He kept saying. Are you a poet? Man, I feel deliverance moving in, sprouting hairs from my chin. My hand stroke bongos, my hip feet got the beat. Down on the sidewalk, past Kerouac. He was sad, drinking again, thinking about going to Mexico. Alan was howled in the fog, the blanketed North Beach. Bukowski slumming in a hotel of lost souls, saying that poetry just saved his ass. Ferlinghetti lives in city lights, spends nights painting pictures by the window. Beat, 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 my feet hit the street, and I was out there. Way out there, man, silver plane, give me wings, a bag full of word things, spilling from a shuttle that droned me home. Dangerous Dan, the word man, he met me at the gate, said I'd be late for a reading, needing readers. Exceedingly tired, I pulled my felt hat down. The poet man was back in town. That was like I got beat in San Francisco. And there's, uh, let me see, I'll do a couple more here real fast. Um, there are no victories. Lie down with me on the cool grass. Let me stroke the ocean of your light skin as my lips sail from the beginning to the ending of you and down into the harbor of your need. Like Icarus, we shall soar into desirous skies with winds spinning us in a whispering dance. Our bodies fuse, two spots of white hot light pulsate in the night sky. But I cannot stay where this passion burns in me, minding the lessons that Icarus learned too late. I must fly before the morning's light, else our waxen bond will melt, reminding me that I am only here to touch you through the night that disappears as we disappear. No victories, only memories shall sleep. Waiting in the moon's light. That was called Icarus. And I was hoping to get over to England this year, but I don't know now with this virus. We'll find out, though. Maybe in September. <laughs> Still keeping my fingers crossed about that one. Now, let me see. Uh, do um, uh, a couple more. Let me see. Just tell me when to stop, Gary. <laughs> uh, I held a cup of sweet dreams that morning against the cold. The thoughts of her warm body like fire caressed my soul. But the warmth was quickly ended. The chill of loneliness began when the cup which I had treasured dropped helplessly from my hand. The cup had lay in pieces broken upon the floor my mind searching the rubble for dreams that were no more. Forever so quickly ended, and never was meant to be. My love was vowed forever. Your love is gone from me. That was the first good poem I ever wrote, <laughs> after writing 300 bad ones. <laughs> uh, let me see. Uh, you haven't just cooked your cherry pie, Mum, but still the blackbirds won't sing you love songs. It's hot under my collar and there's crow to eat, but there'll be no rain to cool this muggy day. With the slam of that fall apart screen door, you slid it off to your new life, stocking mojos and creos with your gumbo pot still spiced hot. My Tabasco tongue, singing songs of gators, fresh skins for the new pair of soft shoes that I heard tapping on the porch before you left. This windy morning won't find me sipping no mint julep made by your cold hands. The barometer's dropping. There's a hurricane coming on fast. You better find some shelter before the storm catches up with you. Been doing some uh, 
uh, things up at uh, <clears throat> in San Francisco. Uh, I've been all over, been to all over the East Coast. It's part of the West Coast. Uh, let me see another poem. Uh, <clears throat> I always blank out. Uh, let me see. Uh, she did a tap dance on my soul with her high spike heels, punching pinholes in my ego, it hissed like a garden hose. She did a tap dance on my soul, just cause she caught me messed around a little bit with Sally Sue. Well, what was I to do? She caught me with my pants down. She did a tap dance on my soul, yelling, screaming, hollering. Boy, was I a sad sight, singing cat songs in the backyard all night. She didn't even give me a blanket. She sure did a tap dance on my soul with her high spike heels. <laughs> it's called tap dance. <clears throat> uh, let me see. Do a serious one here. Oh, yeah, do this one. It's called Life's Not Easy in the Streets. I see them every day. Pushing shopping carts to clink clank over cracks and sidewalk. City stalkers. Nomads of the 21st century. There's one too, Sue. She talks to herself. Remember when she was prom queen. See there how she turns away from her reflection in that plate glass window? She's wondering who the old wrinkled woman is. Did you hear her? Not me. Not me. Not me. And there's Mark the Shark flipping cards on the pavement. Come on, bro, just watch these cars slipping in a slide, and I know that you win this time. Two down and one up. Which one? Which one? Only one, bud. Later, dude, showing the sky around town. Oh, Betty over there. <clears throat> she wraps remnants of old blankets around her head. Sings old church hymns, too, when she remembers the words. Cancer treatment took what little savings she had left after the house was sold. And there's Three Finger Joe tipping that bottle of Ripple Skyward. Squeezes his eyes shut against the sun. He's breathing lightly today, trying to hide the pain of two busted ribs. Damn punks, they wouldn't have messed with me ten years ago. I kicked both their asses good. See those two missing fingers on his right hand? That's what ended his boxing career. Broke his spirit. Spit him out on these streets of piss and booze. And there's one. Waiting over by the shelter door with her two dirty faced kids trying to hide her fear and humiliation and the swelling on the side of her face, swearing silently to herself that she's gonna, that nobody's gonna hit her, that she won't do anything. Uh, let uh, me start. Mess that one up. Had a computer glitch. On the swelling on the side of her face. She won't press charges. What can the cops do? I see them all the time, every day, and I know most of them, all the regulars anyway. They're just ordinary people, just trying to get by on what they got, scraping like the rest of us. Only most of them have to scrape a little harder, dig a little deeper down their soul just to survive these days. Life's not easy here on the streets. Hell, life ain't easy anywhere nowadays. Oh, with someone waiting in an alley around the corner, street camps don't shine. Who just to bash your head in with a lead pipe? And for what? For what? These people ain't got nothing, man, but the clothes on their backs. But he says he can see their spirits go. Oh, his howls like an old hound dog. Oh, heard him howl a while ago. Over that way means he's seen someone dead. You can be sure when old buddy howls, someone's done gone to be his maker. Well, it's about time to get in line for the mission. It's good food. <laughs> Once you get past the preaching, you want to come? All right. Maybe I'll see you around. Tell you some more stories about people who live down here on the streets where only pennies shine in the hot sun. Please uh, donate to uh, the Compass Children's Charity uh, my friend Gary over in Nottingham, is it? I hope, I think that's where you were, right? Nottingham. He uh, 
does a lot of stuff for the homeless. And uh, if you can uh, donate, uh, please donate to the Children's Compass Charity. Uh, I got a got a uh, link up on the uh, the live feed over here. And if you could do that, that'd be great. Because uh, we do a Bards for Hunger over here. And we donate our food. And we did, we had our uh, thing just before. Just before uh, the virus struck. And so I haven't been able to get the money out yet. Uh, let me see. Anything else? Uh, let me see. <laughs> This virtual thing is really fun because uh, you don't really see who you're talking to. And I really like the audience. Uh, let me see. How about uh, a couple more here? Oh, <laughs> when I wrote in Ireland last time I was over there. It goes, uh, two pints to take me off to sleep and rest my weary head. A cup of tea and off to bed will keep this heart from dread. Then life will come and hold me here within her arms so sweet. She'll make me dream and softly sing me off to peaceful wonderings. And if tomorrow you greet my eyes to open another day, I'll sip another pint or two and then be on my way. <laughs> Had a good time last time I was over in England. I uh, met a lot of good people. Uh, got to hang out in Liverpool and London for a little while and all over. Oh, it was so fun. Oh, uh, well, I got to read now. <laughs> uh, let me see. How about uh, this night? In this night of dreams and soft touches, we danced. Two lovers under the cover of night, twisted together with where thunder rumbles and clouds run away from the moon. Her eyes full of mystery, count the stars in heaven where she sings a song that bids the earth to spin. My world is filled with her. We are the ends of a circle touching, where smiles meet in kisses. Her honey hair covers my face as I breathe in her scent. It fills the empty place where she, where the void consumes me. Comforts the child that was lost inside of me. Sets free the bird of my heart to beat the air with wings of fancy. As I bite deep into her man into the mango of her and feel the juice dripping from my chin. Uh, anybody over there know Jerry Lee Lewis? <laughs> this is called Jerry Lee. The cigarette burns slowly as my thoughts slip away. The beer disappears in ring succession, warming slightly as a glass perspires. The mirror behind the bar reflects green walls and bottles as Jerry Lee spills his finger over a keyboard, now sixty years old. He's still rocking, his tired eyes watching for another young girl to tip his piano bench back on two legs. They've broken me, he said, his blue eyes focused somewhere outside. I felt hidden in his silhouette shadows lying over me like a full moon night. Never stop rocking, kid, he said, and the whole room spun on its axis. He, piled, he pulled the microphone from his lips and disappeared as a CD player searched for another disc. <laughs> Great balls of fire, huh? <laughs> okay. Let me see. Uh, how about uh, Softly Raging? Put this for Dylan Thomas. I had been delayed in my travels. He traced my errant steps back up the slow, long hill, stopped, and my lungs screamed for air. When I opened the door, the wind crept in behind me. A chill of dark dreams danced in the corner, then moved across the silence of no clock ticking and asked why I wandered here. A faint line of empty chairs shifted. 
The inevitable glass half emptied on the table of whiskey rattled on its three-legged table. The bottle of emotion resting prone upon the floor found my hand around its neck. It whispered its sorrows to me in a sad lament of filled with sighs. With a toast for no one who was someone once, the cuddled day has found my lips moving over the verses of his notebook. The words tasted of sea and ash as night disappeared into a sadness of stars that raged in the trembling light. Uh, let me see. What is beat? <laughs> he asked me what beat was, so I told him, beat is not a what, beat is an it. It's jazz blues crying out on a night of moody stars over a city that never sleeps. The struggle of hard bones and empty bottles. It's dreamless sleeping by the click-clack railroad tracks and dreams, waking on the beach with the taste of last night's drunk still in your mouth. It's calling out your lover's name so loud that it's great. it shakes the sky to brightness and moves through the day with fierce determination. It's balancing feathers and driving around the world, with stereo blasting through the interstellar air. It's blades spinning through the psychedelic movements of wind, powering the lights at the end of the world. Beat is when someone takes all you have and disappears into a fog of missing possibilities and leaves you there crying at a table set for one. Beat is when you don't care anymore that you are a beat and you just lean forward and listen to the flapping of your shoes on the hot asphalt of a slow boiling summer's day. Beat is yow, man. Beat is yow, man. Beat is yow, man. Cool, cool, cool. It's beat children struggling to save a beat planet from plastic bags roiling in a radiated sea. Beat is beat down. Beat is beat up. Beat is life, baby. It eats into you like a hungry worm. Breaks over you in waves of spent notes spilling wildly from some musician's pinched lipped horn. And wraps around you like a hot, smooth woman on a cool, warm night. Beat is a long, slow cry of distant train whistles in the middle of a long, dark dream. It's knowing that you're standing on a path where one journey ends and another one begins. It's tapping shoes and nodding heads and wild screams when you can't contain the joy that's inside you. It moves your feet propels you across the floor and throws you into the arms of a pretty girl while a musician on stage is smiling because he feels it too so he starts pounding the piano so hard that the sound is flying out through the electric air as the drummer taps his hi-hat unexplored possibilities beat is finding the rhythm in the poem beat his life man beat his life <laughs> not sure how long you want me to go on gary but i'll go on until you tell me to stop how's that <laughs> for summer passes and all that summer long her red hair hid my face as birds flew through her blue eyes rested on the corners of her smile and sang of our love when the moon rose to cover us with its light I would watch her as the days wound down as the clocks ticked through their cycles sweeping time ever onward and we spun uh, with, it, with it along the streets where we sat in coffee shops and quiet conversations. She sipped her tea and I my steaming coffee, her eyes smiling from above the rim of her cup, hands touching mine now and then to show the magic that she had found in me would not leave us when autumn stripped the leaves from the trees and winter covers our head with snow. It's where summer passes. I see a lot of my friends from San Diego. Hello, friends from San Diego. And Frederick from Stockholm. <laughs> Stockholm's a great city. Wish I could go back there and spend a little more time. Maybe this summer. <laughs> I don't think so. I will see. Uh, my first, uh, one of my first poems, a long time ago, I wrote to my girlfriend. Uh, and I, it's called Goodbye, Miss Mousy. She was leaving our school and going someplace else. You say you must go away, Miss Mousy? 
No one will miss you, you said. Well, let me say this, Miss Mousie. Though I am just a weary pilgrim on this traveler, a weary traveler in this segment of passing time, enjoying your company, hoping you have enjoyed mine, hoping you would stay, but knowing you have to leave. So goodbye, Miss Mousie. I'll miss you, Miss Mousie. Goodbye, Miss Mousie. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Frederick wanted me to tell you that uh, we have a couple of uh, tracks of uh, me, of record our recording. He did the music and I did the uh, words on Bandcamp. So put that in, too. Hello, Carol from Phoenix. <laughs> How you doing? Uh, let me see. Do a couple more. No, I'm way over my time. <laughs> Eclipse. He hides on the dark side of the moon. Scratches a thin skin of sun from the inside of each crater to form the letters that can be seen from the center of Earth. He cries when the poem is finished. And the last line penned has cut the page, and his blood is thick on his fingers. Well, poetry can be like that sometimes. <laughs> uh, El Skatuna Rag, with this in Stockholm. The snowflakes are dancing around me, and I am smiling. Ginsburg is sleeping in Izzy's basement. And I am smiling as Dylan's ghost downs another whiskey, and I am drunk on IPA. Irene screams slam poetry, standing on top of the piano, while Tom Waits bangs out a new tune with a cigarette dangling from his lower lip. Charlie Chapman taps his cane, listening to the thumping beat of sweet jazz blues, as Ella melts magic from the microphone, Miles blows his midnight horn. Marlena catches my eye with a wink, and we are dancing, dancing, dancing. <laughs> All right. I think I got my time up. You good enough, Gary? Uh, I'd like to thank Gary, too. Uh, I was supposed to be, do a reading for him when I was over there last time, but everything got messed up, so it didn't work out. But thank you, Gary, for all that... Uh, all that uh, work you did just to try to get me up there anyway. Make a definite uh, definite uh, possibility next year, this year sometime, maybe next year. I don't know. We'll find out. Uh, let me see. Orlando. My first trip over to England. Uh, there was, uh, uh, I met, the first person and last person I met was a Muslim. And this was the first person. He was waiting for his wife at the airport. He was waiting at the airport for his wife to come from Syria. Three and one half years it had been since he had seen her smile warm as the fresh baked bread she had made him on the day he was he left to find a new life far across the sea. Cradled in his arms, a bouquet of long-stemmed red roses, roses like the ones that grew in their garden, a garden now buried in stones and tears. He paced the polished floor in anticipation, his new shoes squeaking with each step, and he knew that with each step she was coming closer to him. And this night she would be here, safe hidden in his arms. I want a great poem over here. <laughs> I guess I'm ended. <laughs> uh, look at the uh, comments page and uh, press the button and we go over and see the other person. All right. Here we go, and...